It'd be easier for me if I turn away to flee, oh Welcome to the Asus ProArt Pro Art GeForce 480 RTX. Um, another one I'm going to add in my server build. As you can see, I have a 1080A, bit of a 1080Ti in there at the moment. So I'm going to take that out. And hopefully this will fit. It's a two and a half slot. I'm hoping I'm gonna have to rearrange some things, but uh, let's open her up. See what we got. See what we got there. So this is gonna go. I will have two. 4080s in my car and computer. Gosh, I can't talk. We have the Asus booklet. Oh wow, I just come into my CD. Oh, thank you. That's kind of cool. And that is the two Asus graphics I want to use. I have to scan it. Speak a little. Well, I can show you the power, which I won't be using that. I'll be using this that comes with my 1600 watt Seasonic power supply. That's PCI Express. It goes to the power supply. I'll be using that. That came with the power supply. is ProArt 48 RTX. Nice looking drive. Hope I can get it in there. So let's peel some stuff. <laughs> front, the back, the top of the car, is your power connector there, and it looks like you have HDMI and then a display port, display port, display port, there. GPU. Let's hope it fits. Let's hope it fits. Okay, this Unboxed. Beautiful looking car. Beautiful looking car.
So let's put it in case. As you can see, it's right here. Right? Truth shall set you free. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I am fiddling around with this, but it doesn't work. I, um, never really got it to fit and work it was too close to the power supply got really hot so i had to move a few things around so i'll show you Oops. video card down so low to my power supply uh, just didn't work I had to move it and uh, I'll right. show you so a little update right. for you guys I installed the ProArt RTX 4080 by Asus but uh, didn't work down on the bottom so I had to move it up a smidgen as you can see well not really let me uh, let me remedy that pull on the GIF there we go. As you can see, it's up top. So that works actually better. Uh, the uh, M M MSI GeForce RTX works better on the bottom. And then the PCI Express card, as you can see, has a little more room. And it might better squeeze one more in there. So. But it's, uh, just want to let you know I had to move it. Hold up, I'll bring up some software for you. How about some DaVinci Resolve? There we go. Complete. Really complete, actually. We'll show a video of the PCI Express expansion slot 4.0 i will show a video of that actually 
of uh, just installing that and putting the drives in, but as you can see, the Threadripper Pro, 32 core, 64 thread, 5975WX is pretty much complete. It's complete. <laughs> All right. So, look forward to seeing you guys on YouTube. Gonna finish this build log video and get it online hopefully in the next day or two. A little bit of work to do. All right. We'll see you in the video. It'd be easier for me if I turn away to flee, oh. Let me bring up, this is DaVinci Resolve, of course, and I am catching this clip right here. I was trying to do some fusion effects on it and it didn't work, so now I am re-catching it and I can show you my thermal take software my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 that is the pro art that I just installed As you can see it's running at 2.7 gigahertz 240 watts of course right down here is an NVIDIA RTX 3090. Like I said, I no longer have the 24080s, the RTXs. The other one was an MSI. I took that out because I was having VRAM issues, I guess you could say. I was running out of VRAM, which, let me see. Um, where is that? I do have. Where'd it go? Ah, look how things just disappear. Hmm. Anyways, well, this doesn't show the VRAM I'm using, but I do have other software. I don't know why it's not showing up. Show on this one. Let's see. Still not showing it. Oh, well. That's funny. Well, anyways. So basically this is my ProArt RTX 4080, 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, I'm bring over my, let's see, where is that? Let me bring this over real quick. Task manager. I actually show. The VRAM. RTX 4080. There it is. Oh, it's not really showing VRAM, is it? I. 10.6 that gives you memory. So that's 16 gigabytes. It's using about more than half of that. And this is my RTX 3090, which has 24 gigabytes of memory. That's using half of that. So that's a lot of VRAM. A lot of VRAM. And I was actually. What I was doing was I was um, rendering or editing a 4K video 
in the real 4K timeline. I wasn't downscaling it to 1080p. I was doing actually 4K. And it was a long video, 45 minutes long with some effects. So it was just using up all my VRAM. I had basically two 16 gigabyte cards, which is 32 gigs and wasn't enough. So I need like a 48 gigabyte card, two of those babies running at 16 times. And I should be all set. Anywho, let's move this off of here, over to here, let's get processors, performance, and we'll come back up to here, CPU, okay, good to go. 